So this is where we've chosen to stay the night. We've already seen an eagle flew up over onto that tree. And the trouble we got is we need to put the tarpaulin up, but we don't have enough string to get from that big tree across to there. That's Troy, say hello Troy. Hey guys. So we're going to use some tow ropes with the string that I've got and we're going to try and bodge this together to give us some uh, some protection from the rain. And then we can ratchet it tight with that in. Yeah. Show these guys. So you can look. This is what we do. Get a loop. So around three times. One, two, three, and then put it back through the loop. And what that'll do is it will slide that way. It won't let you pull back. And then you put that loop the eye of the tarp, hold it in place with the log, wig, and we can start to put some tension on the top, and then we can just pin this out. that out to, to the imaginary pole over there it'd be perfect wouldn't you just it stand here and hold it it'll be fine mate i can sit under just there a little bit lower down yeah it'll be cool yeah <laughs> maybe a little bit lower down or not no nah, i think that's good yeah. there you go yeah, so to get the guys out we use <laughs> luckily troy had some bungee ropes so it's not the prettiest design in the world we've got a tow rope yeah, there now, ratchet really, strap yeah. there three four bungees there to hold that one out but it works, mate. <laughs> it's gonna keep us dry. That's a good one, then. Yeah. Fire over there. Fire over there. Uh, don't be too close to that tree, but if we can come, yeah, that works. So now we've got the top up, and we're into our our first beer. I don't know if you can see it there. Top. First order of the day is firewood and uh, it's very wet so everything's wet so it's going to be a smoky fire regardless but we've just come across this a big birch that's down and if you can see it's actually down by a beaver see where he's been gnawing at it and you can see also they've been gnawing at it ever since so there's beaver activity around here and all the birch bark that's come off so I'm thinking this might be the uh, tree of choice. And so what I want to do tonight is I want to make a long fire. Two really big, thick uh, branches. And you build the fire in between, in the middle. And then that will eventually dry out this, this large wood here. And hopefully it will last all night. So I'm going to need to use that silky saw of mine. Um, it's going to be a bit of work because uh, that's not a small tree, is it? Um, so I'll probably chop it just down there. Get a section about a meter and a half long and then try and get another one and uh yeah that'll be firewood and then we've got 
of lots of lots of down trees here so we can chop all these little bits off and use those in addition so we did we did bring a, a small um, pile of wood from my house that's dry so we can definitely use that to start because it is very wet here so uh, yeah let's get chopping so if you ever do get one of these do read the instructions because there is a specific way of using it so it actually cuts on the pull not the push um, it will make itself quite explanatory if you get older one but yeah so you're, you're pushing gently with um, across and then you're putting pressure on and pulling cutting on the pull so uh, I'll try and show you see the light through there maybe but so just for that one I'm, I'm that much through already so makes light work of uh, with these but yeah more work ahead so I've got halfway through that log but unfortunately as I was cutting it started to pinch up so I can't really do it so I started to take this small limb so I chopped it off you can see nice and dry inside so I'll chop this one up to begin with and we'll maybe try again later hard work this camping see very hard work Yeah. There we go. Put that underneath this big chunk and dry it up with it. So we got there eventually. Le leverage was the key. So <laughs> we lifted it up, eventually cut it, then they stuck together and we couldn't get them undone. So it's taken us about 10 minutes just to get these two on, you know, separated. But now we've got it cut, now we've, we've got a method now. So one of us is going to stand on this to keep, keep leverage on it, and then I can chop on that side, and then we can chop it down into lengths. So. Get in there. Left my engineering degree at home, sorry. <laughs> Let me guess, you need at least 10 minutes of footage. To yeah, that's right, mate, minimum, yeah. Right. Uh, stepping it, it's going, going. <sighs> Gone. The bark. There we go. Oh, we can do that. So mission accomplished. There's our logs. A bit too heavy, heavy to carry, to be fair. And what we're going to do? We're going to build a fire in here, and over time, it'll eventually catch these, and these should last us all night. But that's the plan, anyway. Now we'll start fire. So I'm just taking some birch bark off this one, just to. Help us start the fire. Birch bark's very good because it burns in all weather. It's very oily. Definitely, if you've got birch around, definitely the best thing to start a fire with. You can flake it up, 
You can light it off a fire still if you need to. I've got my fire still, but I'm not going to bother for your for your entertainment because Troy's got a light up. So sorry about that. But yeah, it's always worth splitting them down into little strips. It helps them go. So I don't need an awful lot. So just using the birch bark but everything is very very wet so I'm not confident at the moment but so far so good once it gets going then I can put these bigger ones on and hopefully then uh, you can actually make a fire but we'll see we'll see but it's going the birch bark of the big one. So the fire's been on for two hours now. Light slowly going. There we go, we're just warming our gloves. Well, that's for everybody. <laughs> you can see it properly. <laughs> yeah, I think that one's so yeah, we're just layering logs on top to dry them out, but they're catching. Um, and then we're just flopping them around and putting them in and then cutting some more as we go. But we don't need to stack too much up. There's tons of it over there. So yeah, very warm, very nice. And it's not, and the big ones aren't burning very quickly. So I think they're, um, Definitely good for the night. It's starting to foam up on the edges. So by having the long fire, now it's all established itself, you can now feed it whole logs like that. You can see these are probably, I don't know, 20 centimetres apart. We've chopped by that saw. And these are the ones we were using for leverage earlier on. You can see that's got to be a good one and a half metres long. That's got to be, I don't know, 10 centimetres wide maybe. Just feed the whole thing in. It's still wet, soaking wet, and it'll catch and then uh, feed us for a few hours. So for dinner tonight, we got the traditional Polish sausage. Which is slice, that cuts in it, very fatty. The longer you can cook it, the better. I'm gonna put them over the fire now. Made a sausage stick, simple, just a live bush, cut down with a spike on the end, stick a spike on the bottom so that you can actually dig it in the ground, so otherwise you have to hold it all night and that's a pain. So uh, yeah, that's dinner. So the fire's been going seven and a half hours now and we're about, I'd say halfway through that log there. It's been, this one. been going very, very well. So I think that's going to last us the night. They're nice and warm. The tarp is uh, doing a bit of a job of a fire reflector. I mean, the fire's not pumping it out this way because we've got this big log in the way, but it's still it's nice and warm. It's not that cold, is it? It's very nice. Okay, so fire update. It's now 10 o'clock, so the fire's been going for nine hours is that right nine hours yeah nine hours and a half so the big ones have burnt down a little bit now probably in half especially the front one the back one must be almost as much so what we're doing we're just trimming the logs as we go there's some logs same from the all, all from the same birch it was taken down by the beaver so um it's definitely nice and warm in here, but uh, 
keeping it going. In my opinion, the most important things we took today were the tarp, oh, the yeah. sitting under, because it's been pissing yeah. down all day long, and the silky saw. Because without oh, the silky yeah. saw, we wouldn't have chopped the two big logs that have been our stable for this fire this evening. No. Axe wouldn't have done it. No, axe, no way the axe would have done it. We'd have been bashing it for hours. Yeah. And uh, so I think the tarp and the saw definitely were the two most important things. Yeah. Third and fourth, Alcohol vodka, and food. vodka and sausages. Yeah. <laughs> So good morning everyone, woke up about 8 o'clock this morning, quite late, got the fire going to a cup of coffee and we've just spotted an otter uh, on a sheet of ice over the other side of the lake, I'm going to try and see if I can, uh, see if I can find him, that's, uh, so I've seen otters here before once, so it's always a welcome sight, so that's an eagle and an otter now, we've seen, fire's still going, burnt all those right through those big logs last night but it must have been going for over t over 12 hours and that's good so just show you where I'm going so if you can see on the other side there's a, there's a sheet of ice still over there and the otter was running around on top See lots of beaver activity around here. Yeah, it's a big sheet of ice. See if I can spot him. If I do, I'll uh, turn the camera back on. Here's our little fire. The big one there's from last night still. But we didn't have to light it again this morning. There were still embers. Troy got that going. Just had a cup of coffee. Maybe a little stove. Quite nice and warm. <laughs> 